Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome you back to some more modding. A big warm welcome back, but first of all, I'd like to apologize because I've been away for a while and I haven't made videos in almost two months, so really, really sorry for that. But today, we'll be doing something much more fun than we've ever done before. We will be playing with things that are nice and fun and bouncy. Can you guess what they are? Can you guess what they are? Come on. No, no, not what you were thinking. Oh gosh, that, that is just bad. I'm ashamed of you. Oh gosh, clear your mind. Today we'll be playing with something called the Harry Potter Spongify Pad. It's a little thing that you cast a spell on and it basically just springs you up. It takes you from one place to another just go flying just as if by magic. To start with this we basically need a little box. The box is gonna go in the ground and it's gonna go in this new room which we've made. I haven't got rid of gotten rid of anything else so we'll be putting this little spongy pad thingy on the floor in this room and it's gonna shoot us up onto that platform there. Top platform there and we'll just go flying. It'll be freaking amazing. It'll be a blast first thing we need then is like a little red box about 64 by 64 and a height of 32 so make sure you build that and you just um, yeah, you click build and you center it on the ground in the middle of the floor yeah you just pull it over with the, with the control button and the mouse key so it's just like I showed you before and after you do that make sure it's placed nice and fine uh, and then bring it down as well so it goes below the ground what we need to do now is just yeah it looks fine so now we just need to subtract and subtract it with the texture any texture you like any ground texture that's uh, that's going to be our hole where the sponge pipe pad is going to stay and it looks perfect it's just the right size maybe a bit small you might want to make it a bit bigger and change your gridly to 8 as well so that you can uh, adjust some more stuff down there because we're going to put another little box down there which is a bit less tall and yeah bring that down to the bottom and then you will add the spongify texture from the gameplay the hp3 gameplay texture pack so find that in your textures folder there it is and uh, go to the spell objects scroll down to somewhere near the bottom and there is your little spongify tile it looks freaking amazing so just sort of put that down there and yeah the tile is a bit big so we need to make it smaller about half the size so go to the alignment section change that to 0.5 click apply and oh no it's, it's still too big so make it smaller and apply yeah that looks perfect so what we need now is we need our little actors we need the little triggers to, to send us flying so go to the class browser uh, in the top toolbar and basically expand actors expand trigger triggers trigger and then you need HP triggers HD triggers expand that expand that and there's your spongify target Spongify trigger, sorry. Uh, place that on the ground. Right click and place. Um, yep. Yeah. What we're going to need now is a few more actors. We're going to need a Spongify pad and a Spongify target to lock onto. So go to the other one. Go to yeah, Open K actors. No, go to go to Open Pawn, HPED Pawn, and then uh, and then open expand that and then expand that <laughs> expand that one as well and you should expand the spongify section get the spongify pad place it right down next to that one pretty much next to it yeah uh, not the right place to click so uh, add here and just move that over a little bit as well so select it highlight it move it there and then you need to move the trigger just underneath so bring that just down a little bit it needs to be close to the texture 
and then what you need is to to add a Spongify target. So go back to that active class browser, get the Spongify target, and plonk it, plonk it right down there. So add here, um, center it a bit so it doesn't look too wonky, and that looks fine. And um, now we're ready to pretty much set everything up and rock and roll. So go down to the Spongify trigger, that's the first thing you're going to need and it needs to trigger the um, Spongify pad so copy the Spongify pad tag in the event section and then you're going to paste it into the event of the trigger so open the drug click open the trigger properties uh, and expand events paste it there and paste it below as well for good measure um, just, just to make sure it it has every chance of working. That's my theory. And now you need to uh, connect the pad to the target as well. So you need to tag for the Spongebob target. Right click properties and we need to go events and get the tag. Copy that. Copy just like that. And then we need to paste it as well. So paste in the events of the Spongebob pad. So paste the target. Yeah and paste it in all the other ones as well just for good measure just to make sure it works I think you only need the event one the first one but I'm not taking any chances so I've got an audience here so yeah that should be done that should be working fine and dandy all we need to do is rebuild and we'll see you on the other side Hello. Right guys, we're in this room now. Let's test this out. Well, we, we made that thingy way too small. But it still works, basically. Alright, um, next time you make it, make it a bit bigger. Not 64 by 64. Just so you know, you know. Um, but, anyways, let's just test this again. It is so awesome! I'm loving it. Oh. Yay. Oh, Anyways, yep, you get the point. We made the Spongebob pad, it works, it jumps us onto the target. Then just get this little thing here. Yeah. And anyways, thanks for watching guys. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, please stay tuned. I'll be bringing more whenever I have time. And if you've got really cool suggestions, really cool ideas for what I should make a tutorial on, please put them down in the comments section below. I'll read them and uh, if they're really good ideas, then I'll, I'll put them there in my next new video. And until then, guys, you know, stay safe, look after yourselves, and just have a great time, guys. Thanks for watching.